I think I'm not dealing with this heat. <laughs> I'm from Scotland, I melt beyond 35 degrees, so this is pretty much where I start to pass out. So <laughs> I need to get in the water, today, to get into the water, yeah. cool down. completely unusual, I'm 27 years old and I think in my lifetime I've experienced probably five hot summers ever. Normally it's go to the sunshine and then you get rain and cold weather. So to come here and to have boiling hot sunshine for quite a few days, well weeks actually, we've had really warm weather, it's really unusual, yeah. <laughs> It is hot, so it's everybody's hot, here. It's school holidays. University holidays. Uh, university who's, holidays. Who's going to go, if everyone's going to take the day off today, who's going to go to central London when it's 37 degrees? But this one is stronger. because the weather is very hot in Kensington and Chelsea is doing this for all the vulnerable people, the, all of our service users, because they need to increase the, the liquid intake, water, apart from the tea, the coffee, and all the drinks that they have. And it's making sure that they are hydrated and that they are, they are totally fine. With my handbag? Okay. But in that, saying that, it's not that we come and we're going to do, we're going to wash you, we're going to dry you, we're going to pour. There is a thing called a back lift, which is the, the, the physiotherapy. Because remember, dehydration can send you back to hospital. That is, honestly, some people go to hospital just because they are very dehydrated. Mm -hmm. And they drink. Okay, mm -hmm. so yeah. we go? Okay. Very yeah. good, let's go then. Are you going to cut it? Yes, I'm going to cut it into four. Even better. With a sharp knife. <laughs> and by the time I've walked. Yeah. Yes, it's, it's quite easy. Okay. Be careful. Right. Okay, Heather. Now. Can you see? So how do how do you feel? Yeah, I'm all right. I'm sure. Bon appetit. Yeah, we yeah. been today, and she just explained and made it very clear that you have to drink a lot of water because it's very very hot today, the hottest day of the year, I believe. And um, I've done that. So I let the most professional one us all 
You laugh, right, Cheryl? I'll smack you. We're also asking people to look out for their neighbours, particularly those people who might be vulnerable, the elderly, the very young, and the people with a long-term medical condition. And therefore it's important that we look out for each other, we make sure people stay hydrated, they look after themselves, and if there is a particular emergency, that they, that they contact the emergency service and get professional help. We all want to enjoy this heat, but we need to look after ourselves and each other.